Today I'm going to talk about uh, replacing the standard rubber brake line uh, on the rear of your Classic Mini with a nice braided piece. Uh, these are good bridge, steel braided lines. Um, you know, I always like to talk about why to make an upgrade like this. Um, in my particular case, I don't actually have a great reason uh, why I'm replacing these. They're not leaking. They seem to be like they're in decent nick. And uh, anyway, I'm just doing it. One of the things. So when you get in, when you get underneath your your uh, classic mini, a lot of times you're going to discover, particularly if you just bought the car or if you bought this car used, uh, you're going to figure out right away that you know maybe your rear subframe doesn't look great. Uh, maybe some of your rear suspension doesn't look awesome. Uh, so one of the things I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of doing a general refresh on everything. Uh, I've got the brakes completely apart in the front, and so that's part of the reason why I'm going ahead and replacing these. Uh, reportedly, you get better pedal feel with the steel braided lines instead of the, the rubber hoses, okay? So the other thing I'm doing at the same time is... I'm putting high lows in and uh, coil springs. Okay, so I will tell you, from what I can tell, this job's a lot easier with the shock out of the way. I'm also replacing the shocks. Shocks out of the way, um, cone out of the way. Otherwise, all that all that will be riding right in here, kind of in the area that I need to be in order to get this job done. Okay, here we're getting a better look. Um, this this is not brake fluid. This I sprayed it with some. PB blaster to uh, try to loosen this up. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to spin this back uh, to, to get it off of the line itself. This, this threaded portion here is actually part of the rubber line as you can see in the one that I've already moved from the other side. Okay, so this is going to spin off. We're going to take this off and then we've got to tackle the inner piece which is a real bummer. Uh, that's going to be really fun. So I found on my car, these are nine, I believe this here is a, oh yeah, it's nine sixteenths. And then the inner one is, should be nine sixteenths as well. Now, what I found is I like having both of them on here to give some stability because when you turn this, it's going to try to torque this brake line, which this is a hard line, so we don't want to twist it. And of course we are. See if I just do it without it, without anything there, it tends to twist that. Still did it. Why? Because this turned. Okay, so, that being the case, I'm gonna get my 5 8 and you can see on mine, I got dirt everywhere. I don't know who was driving this thing off road, but can't get my 5 8 inch wrench in there with all this crap. So I'm going to put maybe. Okay, I think that's on. Yeah, that's going to give me the stability I need. Okay. So now you see this turns on itself, which is nice. Man, it seems like it should be off. There we go. Oh, I just cannot get the ratcheting tip off of there. So one thing I want you to realize when you do this is clear your calendar. This takes a lot longer than it looks like it should. So, okay, back to the task at hand. Alright, now here's the fun part. What we have to do now is we have to spin this off. Uh, same type of fitting we had on the outside, no big deal. Same thing here, uh, we gotta get this nut off, and then on the other side, we have the nut, uh, let me see if I can get that, the nut holding it on. Okay, so once we get those all off, then 
we're in the clear. We just got to bolt it back together. Uh, I'm under the car, so I'm not really going to be able to film this, so I'll bring it back once I got it all off. From there, yeah, like I say, all you do is spin this nut on first and get it, you know, kind of most of the way on there. Another million little quarter turns. I tried to put the ratcheting portion of the ratchet on there and that didn't work because of the way we're so close to the radius on it. Alright, well, plan 12. I had to take the washer off of here because I was screwing up my angle and I couldn't get this to come in and thread. So I thought we weren't going to make it to Mini Me East, but looks like we are. So once I get that thing threaded, find my 9 sixteenths and just work it on there. So that's basically the whole deal right there. Just do that, do the same thing on the other side, and then you bleed them. Alright man, thanks for watching.